everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Rock to You Studio, and today I'm sharing with you a video hop. This one is called Hashtag Let Us Start With Art, and it goes on all year long in 2021 on the first Friday of every month. So today's April 2nd, this is the first Friday, and so here is the hop. All the links to other people's videos will be below. Be below my video and you can just go when you're finished with mine just go and click on the next link when you get back to my video you've hopped through the entire hop and seen what everyone has made so the only theme or um, rules about this hop is that everything is made to be decorative like wall art um, there isn't any ATCs or tags or art journal pages or anything like that. It's all something that you could hang on the wall. And that's the only, that's the only rule. So mine is a five by seven canvas panel, which can be framed and hung on the wall. And I am doing mixed media collage. So I was thinking about spring themes and um, trying to come up with something that I wanted to make for this month and you know the spring equinox has started last month and it's we're now well into spring and I was thinking about baby animals that are born in the spring right whenever you see animals out in the field <clears throat> the babies are always around this time of year so I decided to do an animal portrait and I was thinking about my grandmother my grandmother um you know, Mother's Day is coming up next month, and now that starts to make me think about uh, female people in my life who had a strong influence on me. And my my maternal grandmother is one of those, and she collected cows, like all kinds of things that were cow related. And I remember when it started, and it started when one day all the cows from the neighboring field decided to come and be in the front yard of my grandmother's house and they were Holsteins which is the black and white cows and and it just kind of became a thing and then she started you know somebody gave her something that was a little cow thing and then pretty soon she had a whole collection of all types of things whether it was um, covers for the broom or things on the wall or little figurines you know all kinds of stuff people just kept giving her things in a cow theme and so she ended up with this whole collection so I decided that I would do a cow face. Cows are cute. Baby cows are really, really cute. They're clumsy and they trip over themselves. They're adorable. And cows have really kind eyes. Like they have these big, um, you know, shiny brown eyes that just seem kind to me. So I thought that would be something that would be fun to do as a piece of art with a paper painting style. Sometimes when I do paper painting, not all the time, but sometimes I do what's called an underpainting. And that's just, um, you know, a, kind of a sketch in color. I do a sketch, obviously I do a drawing and then I, I paint it in with acrylic paint in um, trying to try out the colors and where the colors should go. And it gives kind of a roadmap to where I'm going to put the collage. So sometimes I do this, sometimes I wing it, sometimes I make, um, make my shapes out of a thin paper and collage onto those. And, you know, there's, there's lots of different ways that I do this type of collage, but I decided that this one was going to be an underpainting. So I used a Stabilo All pencil and I wished I would have used a drawing pencil, but I used a Stabilo All, which is a highly water reactive black pencil. And it caused me a little bit of trouble later, <laughs> you'll see. But um, I should have just used a graphite pencil. I don't know why I grabbed that, that pencil. But I went ahead and did some underpainting um, with blacks, browns, white, um, Titan buff, and some light pink colors. And then the background, I was thinking about the cow being out in the field so I did some kind of some greenish color at the bottom kind of a spring green something that you you know new shoots fresh shoots have that that almost uh, neon neon green color and then I did some more sky colors at the top which was like a light teal color uh, when I did the collage it ended up to looking a little bit different but um 
that's just how those things go. So then I started grabbing all kinds of paper and I wanted paper that had a lot of pattern to it. If I could find it in the right color, I wanted it to be um, gel printed paper, stencil paper, uh, papers that had the right colors, but also had a lot of pattern because when I do paper painting, I think it's fun to build in the pattern. If you're just going to make it plain, just do the painting. You don't need to do the collage part. The collage is adding the texture and the, the pattern and the visual interest that appeals to me. So I start just grabbing little bits and pieces of paper, tearing them, placing them over uh, different areas to see how I like it. Maybe I don't like it. Maybe I move it. And all the time that underpainting has um, influence on where I put the colors. So it's almost like a cheat sheet. <laughs> the underpainting is like a cheat sheet, really, because it gives me, I don't have to think so much about where I'm placing the paper. As long as the paper is a similar color to what's underneath, then I'm happy with it. So this one is called a uh, torn paper collage because I didn't cut the paper. Well, I did cut paper in a couple spots, but um, it was just for the eyes and for the nostrils at the end. Uh, I wanted them to be a little bit more smooth, but uh, the rest of it's all torn. So I'm I'm tearing it, gluing it down. The, the glue that I'm using is something that is a gel matte medium. This one is Liquitex brand, but you can get it in other brands, but the idea is that it's a gel. It's thick um, and gooey. <laughs> and I just feel that this has more tack. It it sticks the, the paper down sooner than a fluid medium, like a, a liquid medium or a Mod Podge or something like that. I don't even use Mod Podge at all. But um, I do sometimes use a thinner medium if it's a certain type of paper. But this time, I just used the gel matte medium through the entire thing. And I have a flat brush that's uh, something that Ranger makes it's called a Distress Collage Brush. And I like that one for putting on the glue. I get a really thin coat of the, the uh, gel type glue on there with that because the bristles are nice and stiff. I've had all kinds of different um, glue brushes. And these are my favorite, but sometimes they're dirty and I end up getting some of my old glue brushes out <laughs> because I'm too lazy to go clean them up. And then they'll be wet. And so, you know, I have to clean them and let them dry. I don't really want a bunch of water mixed in with this glue. So I am finding the different papers. Sometimes I'm layering more than one paper on top of another one, like uh, especially in the middle of the face, I'm using some paper that's a tissue and you'll see it coming up later I guess but over there on, on the edge where I just put the spot I wanted to have a little bit of pattern so I put different pattern papers and then put other ones over the top to add even more visual interest and this is just this is something that makes me happy uh, sitting and gluing makes me happy it just something that I like to do. So I do notice that the, the underpainting doesn't keep me very perfectly true to things. I do, the, the expression on the cow's face changed, even though I did have a drawing and underpainting, it still changed a little bit. And that's just, it's just how it goes. <laughs> that's what happens. But, um, if you are new to this style of collage and you want to try it, I do recommend doing an underpainting because it really keeps you, it keeps your brain engaged in interesting pattern and shape instead of fussing about what color you're putting where because you've already decided that with your original painting, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> it, keeps, it keeps your brain <clears throat> more creative, I guess throughout the process you're thinking more about um, the pattern and the shapes that you're tearing rather than the colors i guess that's what i like about it but it is an extra step which makes it take longer so that's just something you have to think about <clears throat> i wanted there to be a little bit of pink around the eyes and on the cheeks 
of the cow as well as the nose. I mean, obviously there's going to be pink where that part of the nose is, maybe a little bit less than that ended up on my cow. But um, I wanted it to be a girl cow. And so I wanted to bring in those pink and peach and um, coral type colors. So I did build that up around both eyes as well as down at the mouth. And you may wonder what I'm doing up at the top. I never really even fin finished it up at the top. I'm going to put flowers up there. I wanted to do a floral crown on the top of the head of the cow, but I knew that I didn't need to paint that in because I'm just going to tear circular shapes and leaf shapes and put them on there. So there was no reason for me to paint it. So I just kind of painted that neutral color and left it, which would be fine. I could, I could leave it a boy cow and not put the flowers on, but um, I wanted the flowers as part of the composition. I think it's cute. I see, I see lots of other people doing farm animals with uh, flowers in their hair or crowns or things like that. I think it's cute. It's a, it's a thing. And I filled up the, the background with some interesting papers. And I also threw in a little bit of yellow, which there wasn't yellow in the original painting, but that green color, limey green color is very close to yellow. It has a lot of yellow in, in it. So not too worried about that. Also on this little, um, the little spot over here on the side, I put some paper that I had doodled on, which turned out looking pretty cute, I thought. <laughs> I mean, a, a cow spot wouldn't have designs like that, but hey, you know, why not? Why not? So here's where I did cut out the eye shapes with my scissors. Um, I wanted to put those black parts on and then I wanted, and then I'm eventually going to put a brown part over the top of that because that's, I'm, I'm going to try to make those luminous eyes. I know that for a fact, but that's probably going to be in the finishing. So I just made the, the shapes of the nostrils and the eyes by cutting and then everything else is all, all torn, all the rest of it. One thing that I didn't um, enjoy as much about the finished painting is that it's kind of hard to differentiate between the ear and the hump of the back. This cow is kind of leaning into the camera like so the hump on the back does show. Maybe I should have just omitted it and just left it out completely and then then you would be able to see the ear on the right hand side better but oh well. So now I'm tearing kind of like circular shapes in a, in some pinks and oranges and peachy colors and then eventually yellow and then purple to make a flower crown for my cow. And as you can see, it's very simple shapes. It's not something that you need to fuss about. You just throw a couple colors and kind of tear in a circular shape-ish, oval, circular, and then... Uh, maybe tear some some leaf shapes out of some different colors of green and fill those in and it's it's simply very easy to do this this type of a, a thing in collage flowers flowers to me in painting and collage are both both of those are the easiest thing to make because they're not they're not precise they have a freeform shape which gives you a lot of options and I like that about flowers. I do like to do flowers. So just tearing, gluing them on, tearing, gluing them on. I'm almost done with the collage portion and we'll move on to the finishing pretty soon. Probably. So I hope you guys will go below the video and hop through the rest of the videos in this hop. If you don't do that, then just go ahead and search the hashtag, let us start with art, and you'll get some from the last couple months. This started in January, so this is now the fourth hop, I guess, um, that we've had, and we'll just be continuing on for the rest of the year doing this um, decorative wall art type stuff. 
and everybody does something very different that I don't think anybody else is doing collage like me because this is what I do mixed media collage is my favorite so that's what I tend to do for these events but um, other people do other styles of art in this group so it makes the hop interesting so now I have a pen it's called the Pentel pocket brush and it has a very flexible little brush it has a cartridge inside and the cartridge is filled with India ink which is a permanent ink and I am very sketchily and loosely drawing in some lines and uh, bringing out some of the features of the cow face and the flowers and the ears. I tend to like an illustrative style and so this happens a lot. Uh, <laughs> This whole outlining of things happens a lot. Even if it's a collage, it still can benefit from a few little lines here and there. I don't, um, I don't have a problem with that. Drawing in a few little ferns or stems or something as well with the pen, which weren't collaged. Some centers to the flowers and just making a little bit more detail, bringing out detail to make this more cute because it's a cute cow face. Then I'm now doing the dark brown irises, which are a little bit smaller than the eye shapes and gluing those on um, with my fingers. <laughs> and I will also add some catch lights in the eyes eventually with pen. And um, I think I also used some gel sticks maybe. My King Art gel sticks, yeah I did. So yeah, this is fun. I hope you like it. If you do, remember to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment or question below. Um, say hi or ask me a question. And then go and hop through all the rest of the hop, hop, hop people because <laughs> that's fun. And that's what we do this for. And make sure you leave all them comments and thumbs up and all that too. And subscribe to their channels if you haven't because that's, that's what the hops are all about, is supporting uh, the art community here on YouTube. So now I have my white Posca pen, and I'm adding a few little highlights, a few little uh, hair shapes, um, some eyelashes, things like that, and just some little scribbly um, highlights to get that real bright, bright highlight of white. And then this little cowgirl is almost finished. Thanks for watching, you guys, and thanks for hopping with us. And that's it for me. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.